Hello there, welcome. This question is from 2016 set 2. It's a 2 marks question and they're saying suppose the functions f and g can be computed in 5 and 3 nanoseconds by functional units uf and ug respectively. Given two instances of uf and two instances of ug, it is required to implement the computation of f of g of x i for i goes from 1 to 10. Ignoring all the delays, the minimum time required to complete this computation is dash nanoseconds. Okay, so they are saying in some processor, you have these two units, u f and u g. u f, unit f, computes a function f in 5 nanoseconds. And UG computes a function G in 3 nanoseconds. The code that is to be executed is this. Or you can assume that for these 10 values, first you need to compute G, G of XI. And then on that value, you need to compute F. Okay. And they are also saying, that there are two units of both the processors. That means in total we have four units. Now, what is the minimum time required to compute these values? You guys might think that because we have two units of G as well as F, we can use a unit of G here and here both of these units will be computing g of x1 and g of x2 in parallel and hence in total they will take three seconds that means from zero to three seconds from zero to three seconds these two computations will be done and after that from three to eight seconds this unit requires five additional seconds that means from 3 to 8. In this time, you can compute F. Okay. And similarly, this process can be repeated 5 times for this pair, this pair, this pair, and this pair. Okay. So in total, the time taken is 8 into 5. 5 is a 40. You might think that the answer is 40, but it's incorrect. This question is from CAO. It's actually a general aptitude question, but they are using the concept of pipelining here. The thing is, when these units have done their computation in first three seconds, they are free for this time. For these five seconds, the unit G is free. Okay. so. What is to be done is from 0 to 3, they are performing computation of g of x1 and x2. After this time, after 3 seconds, you just use units g here. Okay. Now, unit g is computing x3 and x4 or we can say g of x3 and g of x4 is being computed as well as unit f is uh, performing this computation okay so during this time from time 3 to 6 units g are being used and in parallel from time uh, this 3 to 8 unit f is being used okay that means for these three seconds all of the four units are in use and moreover, this unit G will be used continuously, okay, from 6 to 9. They will be used continu uh, continuously. First 3 seconds here, next 3 seconds here, next 3 seconds here and so on. So, the main thing to be noticed is, in first 3 seconds, the initial 3 seconds, these uh, 3 seconds, Unit F has to be free. Unit F cannot be used in first three seconds because 
f requires g of xi okay g of xi takes 3 seconds only after first 3 seconds the units f can be used for computation that means initial 3 seconds are required for computing g on any one pair after that you require 5 seconds for computing f of that gi g of f of g of xi and this thing has to be repeated 5 times so into 5 what i am saying is after this initial uh, g is computed for the initial pair after that time you just focus on computing f because anyways these computations g will run in parallel so you need not worry about them that means this is done in three seconds and this is done till this time that means from three to eight seconds after eight seconds have been completed you can automatically just start computation of the next pair because in those eight seconds only these two values would have been computed okay then you just continue f with uh, continue the computation of f for another pair and so on because g would have been computed while the unit f gets free okay so this is your answer it comes out to be uh, 25 plus 3 28 correct answer is 28